Good morning, guys. It is crazy windy out there today. There's probably a lot of you uh, experiencing that. So I've been working on a little contraption here. Let me show you this. All right, here's what I got. All right, here's what I got. I built this a little while ago um, when I went out and explored, what was it, Garfield Heights, the abandoned Walmart, that whole strip mall. When we explored that, um, Wally had built one of these and uh, we all were like whoa that's amazing <laughs> so we wanted to build one too so Richard built one I built one and what this is is a camera rig I may have showed you before it's got this little screw right here which if I take off the little uh, mount that is just a selfie mount, um, if I take that off of my tripod here that's holding my camera, I can screw it onto here and the camera sits right here. Now this part over here, I actually have a giant panel light that goes on there and that thing is super powerful. It lights up everything, it's crazy. Um, but right here is what I'm going to be testing out today. This is a microphone. It's a shotgun mic. My daughter got me this for Christmas. Movo is the brand. And I've been looking at these for quite a while now. Um, and just now I finally got around to setting this up. Now, this thing is called like a dead cat or a dead rabbit or something. You know, it's it's a wind, uh, a wind shield. It's just like a piece of foam in there, and then it's got this this hair on it that catches the wind and it prevents it from like you've been hearing in some of my videos where I'm outside and you'll just hear it going, you know, making all kinds of noise and stuff. That's the wind blowing against that uh, that microphone. So here is the microphone itself. You can see it sticks out of here. I had to work with this a little while because I have uh, this cord here that plugs into the phone and when it gets in here it's got a little elbow with the three millimeter jack that plugs into the back of the microphone. So I had to connect the microphone into this little T brace here, this uh, PVC brace, and then I ran the wire into there. I had to actually take it in and kind of bend it and then stick it in so I could have it coming out the back because I wanted to make a little hole down here right underneath so that this wire would just stick straight down from here and be able to plug into the phone but um you know that just that wasn't happening i don't have a big enough drill bit and it would have been a lot more work so i may do that a little bit later but for now but for right now what we have it's sticking out the back there i will connect my phone right here the camera and i'll plug this in the side and that will give us a microphone and we're going to go outside into this crazy crazy wind and see if this thing will uh, will help you to be able to hear me as clearly as you're hearing me now um, through all this crazy wind. So let me get this thing set up, and uh, and then we'll go out there and give it a try. I mean, there are like there are trees down. There's power lines down. There's power out in Maslin and Tuscarawas County and Stark County. All through, it's absolutely crazy out there. So let's get this set up and then we'll go out there and test it. Okay, so here's what this looks like with the uh, the selfie mount. That just pulls up. Just It just came off of a selfie stick. It screws on right here. You pull this up, and then you connect the phone right in there. And, uh, and that's what will hold the camera. And I'll plug this right into the side there. Okay, so that's all set up there. I'm going to have to test this real quick to make sure that you're hearing me through the, uh, the microphone up there. But as soon as I confirm that that's working. We're going to go outside into this crazy windstorm and see if this works. Okay guys, so I'm using my old iPhone to film this. That's why you see this tiny little black mark right there that appears to be a bug crawling on your screen. <laughs> this is what the rig looks like right here with my other phone connected. That's my iPhone 6. We've got the, uh, the wire coming out here and it goes in the side. And then, uh, you know, like I said, the dead cat, rabbit, mouse, whatever the heck that thing is. And uh, we'll turn this on. 
Oh crap, I hit there. We'll turn this on. And there we go. Hey, how's it going there, dudes? So let's go ahead and take this outside and uh, we will see if this works in that wind. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, wait, let me cut in before we run that footage because I forgot to make a walk around without the, uh, the extra mic on. So let's walk around out here for a minute without the extra mic and then we'll be able to compare. Okay, the wind is not blowing very hard right at the moment, but I'm sure it'll pick up in a second here. Okay, here it comes. It's, it's blowing a little bit now. Let's walk into the wind like we did the last time with the, uh, with the other mic on. It's blowing pretty good at me right now, so we'll see how this is. Usually, you probably can't hear a word I'm saying right now. Come back here and see the bee friend. <laughs> Then we'll go on back in the house. Now I will tell you this right now, the wind is not blowing as hard right now as it was when I had the other microphone on. I mean, it was really, really blowing then. But this should still give us a good idea of a, of a difference between the two. Because a lot of times when it is interruptive, it's only been blowing this hard. So, all right, here we go. Let me make sure that our connections are tight. All right, everything's good to go. Here we go, out into the windstorm. Oh, oh, it's snowing out here too now. It's either snow or it's other stuff blowing around. on the microphone. So let's walk around here. We're walking straight into the wind right now. It's so cold. <laughs> There's the bee friend there. <laughs> I should sell autographed pictures like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright guys. I think that's a good enough test. Because the wind is blowing like crazy out here. So let's go on back inside. We'll see how this uh, worked out. I'll tell you what, with this contraption, it's definitely heavy holding my arm up like this to carry it around and, and vlog. So I would have to work on something else. You know, maybe I could cut out, like cut down the size. Um, but I definitely need something to hold the microphone up here still on top of the camera. But man, my shoulder, <laughs> dang. Okay, let's go test this out. Okay, well that was kind of a bummer. Obviously, the first footage that I showed you, I went out just like this, holding the, the, uh, the camera, the phone, just exactly how I hold it, just the phone. And it was a lot louder, like the wind beating on the, on the microphone was a lot louder, but you could still hear what I was saying. In the second footage there, where I used the rig and the, uh, you know, the the external mic, this one here, um, it cut it out more when the wind was blowing. So not only was it cutting it out, but you couldn't even hear what I was saying because it was cutting it out. So that was kind of a problem. The only thing I can think of, though, and I'm going to give it a test run with this right now, is that the the hairy thing there <laughs> whatever you call it the windshield i have pushed all the way onto the mic like snug i'm gonna pull it off a little bit so that there's a little bit of space between the end of the mic and the uh, and the actual windshield itself 
So maybe that will help. So let's go give that a, a test run here and see how that is. See this, how I have it on here right now, it's snug right up against here. This is the microphone part and it's like right there. So I'm just gonna pull it off a little bit. There, that gives it about a half an inch or so, almost an inch between the end and the actual microphone. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. The only other thing I could think of that might be causing some of the problem is that on the mount, I don't have it like a shock mount. Um, let me show you this. This right here, I built like a shock mount. You see those rubber bands in there? And basically what you do is you put the thing in here so that if there's any movement, it these rubber bands absorb that shocking, uh, well, you know, the shock from when something hits the frame. So like, if I go like this, you probably hear that through the microphone because there's nothing to absorb it. Um, the wind, I don't know, everything's built pretty tight on here, so I don't think that would have an effect. But let's go take a walk again with the loosened up habit on there. I like being stupid. <laughs> I could easily figure out what this thing is called and just use the right term. But it's too funny to just be stupid about it. So, all right, here's the wind again. Ouch. Blowing pretty hard right now. Let's see if we can get every angle on here while I'm talking and see if it will uh, absorb that wind, hopefully. Take a walk back through here again. Here comes the wind blowing straight in my face. We're coming, B. We're coming to see you. doing a scientific experiment. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. You want uh, the conditions to be exactly the same, and they were not during this time. scientific experiment. Well, let's go back in here now and uh, get this footage up. See if that made any difference, having a space between the end of the mic and uh, this thing here. Okay, so in the end, out in this kind of absolutely crazy, crazy wind, it didn't perform very well at all. Um, but the thing is that this wind, I mean, this is the first time in at least a year that I've seen wind like this. You know, in watching back my footage and knowing how windy it was outside when I was out there filming it, just the minor wind, it was, it was good. You know, the... Uh, the windshield actually worked the way that it was supposed to. Um, you can tell the difference between the sound with the mic plugged in and without it plugged in. It sounds better this way. When I plug in the mic, it's a little more sharp, which is still okay. You know, it's not that big of a deal. But, um, yeah, in just minor wind, it, it worked. It helped it. Um, but when the wind was really, really kicking up and blowing hard, and I'm going to tell you guys, I mean, it is blowing really hard out there right now. Like I said, I mean, there's trees down, there's power out all over the place. This is really, really bad wind. I think there's even uh, driving bans right now for, like, big trucks and RVs and things like that in this area. So it's really strong wind. Um, so the really strong wind, it didn't perform good at all. I mean, you can't hear a word I'm saying. It's, you know, just cutting in and out really, really bad. You know, it's no better when I use my phone. I mean, if I went out there in the same strong wind you still would not hear anything because it would just sound like somebody's beating on the microphone. But uh, but just for regular wind, I mean, it did it did perform, you know, in the segments where there was just a little bit of wind, where otherwise it would be messing up my sound altogether. So, I don't know. I know this isn't the greatest morning show ever, but I needed to try that out, and so I thought I would do it on here. In case anybody has looked at these and they're considering getting one, I believe it was only like 40 bucks. I could be a little bit wrong on that, but that's what I saw when I looked it up online. So I guess for a, for a starter microphone, it serves the purpose. 
as long as your wind is not absolutely crazy like that. So it does serve the purpose. Definitely not the greatest in that really, really, really strong wind. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.